All right, now let's discuss number. Very important variables when we are doing some calculation in mathematics. So there are different types of number you can display in JavaScript. So there are some examples here. If you type var int number, then you can just type a number which is one. If you want to have a number with the decimal points, you can write directly dot five. This is like kind of like a real number. And if you want to write the number in exponential format, you can just type the number followed by an e and then the power. So this will be 1.4 into 10 raised to the power 15. And if you want to display that, you will see the values like this. Okay. If you want to display an octal number, you can put O after zero. Okay. This is the base, which is an octal. An octal number, which is one zero, is decimal equivalent is eight. Okay. This is uh, very rarely used. I have never seen much where you use octal number, but you have most often seen hexadecimal number. This will make calculations in hexadecimal format. So here, if you want to display number in hexadecimal, you have to put X here. And now if you convert this 3E8, its decimal equivalent will be 1000. And then if you want to show number in binary, then you have to put B here. So after zero, you have to mention the format. This is octal, hexadecimal, and binary. And 101 decimal equivalent is five. So if you want to practice that, it's actually very easy. You can take a function out here. And I can type here var int number, which is one. This is just my normal int number. And if I, what I can also do is I can um, just directly put console log, and this will also be easy for you. Console dot log, and there is I have int, and if I want console dot log, I will type here one point five, which is my real number. Sorry about that. Console dot log, and then we had number format. Let me see what was was the sequence here I was using exponential so exponential you can put e so i'll just copy that 1.5 e raised to the power let's say 4 and then i will take next one console.log next one was octal then hexadecimal and then binary so i can take octal number as 0 0 1 0 this is my octal. If I want, I can write a comment here for you. And if I want a hexadecimal, oops, not here, then I can put X here and I put here FF. This is my hexadecimal format. And if I want to have a format in binary, I can put B. And in this case, you can see I already have an error because binary is already one and zero. I can put one, 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 one. This is my binary format. And let's see when we are outputting these numbers, what will come in our terminal. Let's click on done. I need an input for that. And we deploy. Now we can see that once I hit timestamp, we can see the output in our terminal window. There you go. 1, 1 1.5. This was integer, this is real, and here it's 1.5 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 4, because this is exponential, you have 15,000. Octal 10 is 8, hexadecimal FF is 255, and binary 1111 is 15. So in console log, you always see the number in decimals. So this was about how you can represent the numbers in different formats, okay? Based on this representation, we will do some calculations later on. We will use some operators like addition, subtraction, division, and we will use, we will see how we can use this number to display a result. All right. So this was a little bit about numbers and just keep these number format in your brain. Whenever you have number beginning with zero and then you have to notice what is the alphabet here. If it's O, it's octal, X is hexadecimal, B is for binary. All right. This was about number. In the next video, we will see Boolean format, which is also very important. So see you in the next video.